Welcome to the Convocation Day. Ya Ali Madad. My name is Kiran and I'm just heading in to take pictures with my classmate ahead of our convocation ceremony. Please join me. As you saw, we are very honored to have Princess Zara join us today for convocation. What a special honor. I have to go inside now, but I will be back after the convocation. I declare the global convocation ceremony open. Standing here on campus road, I can't help but recall that this campus was once a dusty plot of land on the outskirts of Karachi. Believe it or not, on the outskirts of Karachi. Look at it now. We can take a desert and make it bloom with intellect, with optimism, and our brilliant green and gold. How did we get to be this place of possibility in just 40 years? Without a moment's hesitation, I answer, our founder and chancellor, His Highness the Aga Khan. <laughs> Through his vision of a university that reconciles loyalty to international standards with service to those in needs. That proves that science is the property of no single culture, but of all humanity. That prepares its graduates to use knowledge to identify and solve problems, a task the class of 2022 has already embraced. As we mark its inaugural Founders Day, its 40th anniversary and the graduation of the class of 2022, AKU has never had more to celebrate. I am deeply, deeply grateful to everyone who's made its journey possible. After more than three years of the COVID-19 pandemic, I would like to offer special thanks to all the healthcare professionals at AKU and elsewhere who have fought so bravely to care for the victims of the virus and to prevent its spread. Your work has been a magnificent gift to the world. His Highness deeply regrets being unable to participate in person in this triple celebration. At his request, I will now read his message. Obstacles to AKU's ambitions will not cease to arise in years ahead. Change in our various contexts will be ongoing. If anything, it looks likely to accelerate. The university must keep one eye fixed on the horizon, evolving and adapting to new circumstances. At the same time, it must keep its founding vision firmly before it. A great university is not built in a few decades or even in a lifetime. AKU's purpose must remain lucid and constant transcending the generations, even as it is reborn in each new generation's passion and commitment. Together, all of us are the custodians of the founding vision. Our history gives us every reason to believe that so long as we remain true to that vision, AKU's light, the light depicted in the university seal, will grow ever brighter helping to illuminate the path to a better future for the people it serves. AKU has been trusted partner of the government of SIN for decades, but in the recent years, it has proven its value like never before. At the beginning of the pandemic, when Pakistan was recording its first case of the virus, there were so many unknowns. At that difficult time, the expertise of AKU was invaluable and it was so willing to share its knowledge. AKU's commitment to the cause was evident as even in the middle of the night, there was always someone from the university available to assist us. Then came last year's floods, the worst in our history. The devastation was unlike anything Pakistan had ever seen before. AKU rose to the challenge once again alongside the government and numerous other private sector institutions. 
It cared for hundreds of thousands of people. This is not an institution that exists for one group or sector of society. It is working for the benefit of Sindh and for Pakistan as a whole. The government of Sindh looks forward to continue working closely with Aar Khan University to bring outstanding health care and education to the people of Sindh and Pakistan. I look forward to seeing its graduates continue to demonstrate the power of AKU education and the extraordinary talent of our youth. There is now, more than ever, an urgency to act. In a world more connected than ever before, changing in a heartbeat with ever-increasing problems to tackle, we must make informed decisions as to how we can allow our communities to prosper. In my classmates, I see brilliant physicians, nurses, scientists, journalists and teachers, and in every single one, a leader. What does it mean to be a part of this AKU community? Well, let me tell you. AKU as a family consists of students, faculty, staff, and alumni who uphold the AKU values and dedicate their lives to address real life problems from climate change to non-communicable diseases. We are at the forefront of so many different fields, contributing relevant research and providing accessible services of high quality standards. We are the leaders. We are the agents of change, embracing pluralism, making productive contributions to society and passing on the torch of knowledge to others. What a special day. I hope you enjoyed the ceremony. Mubaraki to all my classmates from across our campuses who graduated today. Until then, I'm off to celebrate with my family. Thank you. Milte hai kal. <laughs>